Hey you guys, so we're back again with some more shenanigans. So, backstory. Today I had to get an oil change. So, I went to get an oil change and really what I tried to do was go in there and finesse so that I can get the other work done on my car without like having to pay for it. But they was like, bitch, I don't know what the fuck you thought, but that's not gonna fucking happen. So, now I'm out here at Mall of Georgia. Cause I have time and I don't have anything else to do. And I'm looking rather cute. So we are about to go walk around inside the Mall of Georgia. I'm gonna start with Barnes & Noble because I am really into books right now. I was reading um, the Awkward Girl um, book from Issa Rae when I was at the Nissan dealership. So we're gonna go in the bookstore first and we're gonna see what shenanigans we can get into because there's people out here, okay? And you know what I say, when there's people out, there's time for shenanigans. All right, see you guys in a minute. Super quiet in here. So I did the hand sanitizer at the door. But I'm about to look for, I'm about to look for some witchy books. Ooh, new nonfiction. This is the biggest Barnes & Noble I feel like I've ever been in my entire life. Oh my God, Alyssa Milano has a book called Sorry Not Sorry. You guys, y'all know I say this all the time. Really? And I'm always talking about charm? I feel like I need to read this book. Damn. I really think I should read that book. I'm trying to get my collection up, you guys, so let's keep looking. Oh my god, you guys, guess what the fuck I found. Look at that. Everyday town. Now that's what I think I might buy. Okay, they also have Harry Potter things over here. My kids love that, but they're not here, so. Oh, they have a few everyday tarot. Interesting, because this is the one, this is the one that the beautiful Pisces RS uses, and I really like it, because it's not that descriptive. But it's interesting. I wanna, I like to read interesting decks because I feel like I get interesting messages. So this might be what I buy. But let me go upstairs first and see what's going on up there. When I was a kid, I remember going into Barnes & Noble with my phone 
and we would spend hours there. When all the Harry Potters came out, we'd be there. We would just sit there and read. And it's a little disheartening that kids don't do that anymore because I feel like that type of stuff built character. Just starting to be a witch. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Do you? What's your sign? I'm a Gemini. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. So, you can do it. Oh yeah, I know I can. It's just I gotta figure out which. <laughs> which witch? Yeah, which witch? <laughs> well, I started. Well, I've been a witch my whole life. I've suppressed it, like memory-wise, mm -hmm. but I've always seen spirits oh, okay. and so stuff right like that. Yeah, so, like, okay, well, right, like, something is, yeah, right and I've been able to read people. Like when I came in here, it's a lot of good energies in here. Like it's a lot of calm, it's a lot of peaceful like type of energies, but then there's a few that are like yeah. there's always somewhere where you go, you can feel it. Like there's a few sprinkled in that you're like, Ooh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, the house, the house, like, mm -hmm. yeah. You know, not like it's creepy Mm-hmm. You feel something not vibes. Exactly. Yeah. But I started really getting into it in 2020, like last year, and I read tarot now. can do it. If you already had like feelings and stuff like that, I didn't even read tarot books. I just picked up a deck. I watched other people do it. Mm -hmm. And then I started doing it. Okay. And then people were like, oh my God. So it's just, I feel like it just comes natural. Hey guys, so it's really mysterious and crazy how God works and how things work. The secret language of astrology. Oh my God, see, there's so many books. Oh my God, there's so many books that I want you guys. So I have officially found the self-transformation and or esoteric section of the store. I definitely want to get this, but I'm not going to get it right now. You know what? I am gonna get it right now. Fuck it. Fuck it. But it's so crazy. I got a few books. Oh got a few books. Very interesting because I met a very nice Gemini lady over here. And I recommended the Kapalian book that I've been reading and I told you guys about before. And it's crazy how mysterious God works. It's crazy how you just happen to be in a place and then you just happen to meet someone or come across someone who is right in alignment with your path. But you don't meet those people if you don't follow the guidance that spirit tries to give you because had I not come in here, it was crazy. She was looking for a book. And they kept searching, searching, searching for the book, searching for the book. And they couldn't find the book for her. So I'm sitting there like, oh no. I could feel her starting to get disappointed. 
Like in my spirit, I could feel her start to get disappointed. So I saw the Kabbalion and it was like drawn to me. And I was like, oh wow, well I have this one. And I told her about like kind of what the premise of the book was about. And she was like, oh my God, yes, that's the one I want. But she was like, and I was like, well, you know, she was like, oh, okay, cool. And then, you know, there she is, there she is. And I was like, wow, well, you know, if you can find the one you want, that might be a good replacement. And she was like, yeah. So, dope. We're doing work. Yes, can I check out? All right, though. We're back outside, but I just can't get enough of how fucking fine I am today. Do you, do you see how fucking fine she is right there? Do you see her? Now, I could get some food in here, but I don't think so. I spotted a chicken salad chick restaurant outside. So I think I'm gonna get that. But I mean, the food court is always cute. The food court is always cute. Dang, and Old Navy is in here and I have some Old Navy coupons at the house. Shit. Damn, I need some chapstick. I don't care how many times I put damn chapstick on my lip. It just still be dry, motherfucker. So, the objective of this visit is to find and visit stores that I don't usually visit in a style or that have a style that I like. One of which I see right now. What is this? Garage. Okay. Get into it. Get into it. Get into it. Are we live? <laughs> no, it's it's a vlog. Yeah, no, for me. <laughs> Thanks. Take one of your what? What's that? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Hey, we live vlogging? Yes, we're live vlogging. Young JL with the heart of a tiger. Okay. I said, let's fix it. Let's hide in a place of fire. Oh, okay. You it's better do it. It's a wrap now because a wrap now. <laughs> okay, well, look, hey. Keep up. No, I'm just, I'm going to go in here first. I'll get it when I come back out. Good, <laughs> thank you. Oh my God, okay. Hi. So I see I'm gonna have to save if I wanna buy these clothes, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. So, there's another. We're gonna go in there real quick and see what's going on. It's called offline. That's what I'd like to be is offline. Mm. All right, so it is really crazy. I did actually buy something from Offline by Aerie. I got two bralettes, which were on sale. Everything was 40% off in the store, so you know I always live for a sale. And I got two bralettes, and I got a big oversized sweatshirt that's gonna be perfect for me when I am filming, okay? And long story short, I pretty much met another person. This is so crazy, it is insane that, you know, this is confirmation for me that I know what I'm supposed to be doing with my spirituality. This is confirmation for me of my intuition. This is confirmation for me of everything that God has been telling me. And 
I think that God just kind of wants me to get out into the world and start talking to people. And I didn't really trust that at first, but I am starting to get like confirmations. I'm, I'm doing it and I'm starting to get confirmations. So I guess this video is possibly gonna be inspiration for some of you guys with the things that you feel scared to do or the things that you you may be intimidated by. Um, and I just had a whole conversation with Jocelyn, like she was super cool. And like I told her about what I do on YouTube and lo and behold, she was like, how did you get into it? Cause I was telling her about myself and then lo and behold, she was like, yeah, I wanna start YouTube too, but I'm so scared. And I don't know like what to do. So it's really inspiring that you came in here and you said what you said, like impromptu. Like she didn't even tell me, she didn't ask me, she didn't do anything. I just started telling her, she was like, she, cause she, I mean, she did ask me like, how did I get into that? Like, how did I start reading cards? And I just really told her my story. And I swear when I told her my story, she was like, oh my God. Like at the end of it, me talking to her, <clears throat> she helped me. And at the end of me talking to her, she was like, yeah, as we were walking to the register, she was like, I really want to start a YouTube channel. And, you know, me and my boyfriend want to start start our own things. And, you know, we want to have things together. And I'm just so scared. And I'm like, girl, just do it. Don't give a fuck what anybody has to say. Don't care about any of the naysayers or anything like that. Anybody who, you know, makes you feel like you shouldn't be doing what you're doing, just push it aside. And I told her like, you have to go with your intuition. You have to follow your instincts and you have to decide what is right for you. And if you feel like that's something that you're being driven to do, you never know who you could help. And she was like, wow, you helped me so much. And I was like, that's exactly why you should start doing your channel. That's exactly why you should start spreading the word for whatever it is that you want to do. Because just like I came in here and we don't know, you, like I didn't, I didn't know her, you know, I came in here and you know, we're strangers, but you know, simple things that we were able to speak to each other about allow for you to have a little bit of in inspiration. And I said, you've inspired me. That's confirmation for me. That makes me feel better about what I'm doing. And it makes me more solidified in what I'm doing. You've given me a confirmation level that I didn't have when I first walked in here. So, you know, when you think about people and you think about situations, bye. When you think about people and you think about situations that, you know, are unexpected, or you think about situations that are unplanned, sporadic, impromptu, those are the things that you need to go towards. And like, especially when it's things that scare you, okay? Because I was scared to come in here. I wasn't scared necessarily to come in the mall. Oops, sorry, my wrist was stuck. I was not scared to come into the mall, but sometimes like people are looking at me, right? Like people are staring the fuck out of me right now. And they're looking at me, hi. <laughs> People are looking at me like I'm crazy, you know what I'm saying? So I just speak and I say hello and you know, all these good things. But it's very scary. It's very scary when you sit and talking to yourself on a motherfucking camera. People think you're crazy, okay? But you know, y'all already know that I don't give a fuck about being crazy. So I feel like it's something that I had to do. I feel like I'm glad that I did it. And now I'm you know, I feel like I've helped two people today who were on their journey. And it was really, it was really fucking awesome. It was really fucking lit. And I was just kind of loud. But again, you know, you guys know I don't care. So I'm going to put all this together in a little vlog for you guys. And I think I'm about to head to Chicken Salad Chick because I want some fucking food. Okay? See y'all. Bye.